but um, I remember introducing the scarf to you, Ben. At, sorry, <laughs> Ben. And I gave him the scarf and he put it on and he went like, this feels horrible. <laughs> And I went, oh, got a new scarf. It's silk, it's silk. And he went, no, it's prickly, it's horrible. I went, oh, please, can you love it? <laughs> Did you recast the scarf? No. No? No. I don't remember. Do you remember it that way? No, no. no, no. no you did. No. <laughs> Sorry. It's That's true. quite damning. It's... I did have to wear it very close to my person, but um, <laughs> maybe I'm sensitive in that area. Um, Benedict, I want to ask you about something that Annie Poole says about your character in the afterword. And she says this, his private obstacle became this thing that he knew about himself, something that in the cowboy world that he inhabited was terrible and unspeakably vile. And Savage says of Phil in the book, he had loathed the world should it loathe him first. Hating on the world before it hates on you. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's it. The, 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 the sort of vulnerability that creates that horrible tension in a human which twists them into a pretzel of hate and distrust and fear. And, yeah, he's a man who's got incredible control. He is a savage bitch, but at the same time, it's driven by something um, deeply traumatized. I mean, something that's been... He's cut adrift very early in his life from the capacity to love or be loved. He's not left with much canvas in that regard. And... I guess that the tragedy of what unfolds in this section of his life and the end of it is that just as he might potentially be opening up into being someone who can receive and give love again, it's, he's, you know, he's already sown the seeds of his own demise with the treatment of the people around him and that's, it's, it's over. But um, yeah, I, I think it's just a, it's a very tragic story of a man who um, was incapable to fully realize his authentic self. Um, yeah, I think I think his masculinity is often talked about as being a performative. I don't think it is. I think that is who he is. Right. I think Bronco was like that, but he was. They were both men who loved each other. But um, yeah, I don't think the behavioural pattern there is to disguise what's underneath. He he sees Peter's feetness as a front to his masculinity, and of course, it's a deeper tremor of like this person is sort of a manifestation of the thing I've tried to suppress. Um, not in behavior, but in my actual yearning and my actual being of what I'm attracted to and want to be with. And uh, I think, you know, this happened when he was 19 and right. it's 20 late, over 20 years later. There's a lot of it that's unresolved. He, he connects with it in a very sensual and real way with the uncomfortable scarf uh, previously mentioned. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think it's... Uh, <laughs> it's 